Welcome back to the Walk and Talk. Michelle, I had another question for you. Yeah. This time I noticed that when I walked past the conference room, you were putting up all the posters and you're getting markers ready. <laughs> Can you share a little bit about what you're planning? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a workshop coming up with a client on innovation. And what nice. we were setting up was um, customer journey mapping. And I, I don't know how familiar you are with them, but basically what we're doing is we spent time with consumers to really understand um, sort of their pain points in the current category and we are going to first use that data and complete a customer journey map. So really understand with the interaction with the products, what they do before, during, and after purchase and use of those products. Mm -hmm. And we're not just doing it based on um, what we think. We actually have data. We have quant and qual data. We also have talked to consumers. We've immersed in it. And once the team puts it together, mm -hmm. we're actually bringing consumers into Nova Place, into our uh, office. You'll see them, so Excellent. beware. Um, but yeah, my we, best <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> um, but we're actually going to have them look at what we've started with post-it notes and everything mm -hmm. and pressure test it. And it's really very useful because they'll look at it and say, okay, well, for me, this holds true, but this doesn't. But what mm -hmm. it helps us to do at the end is to be able to determine where their pain points are, kind of their highs and lows of their yep. experience with our category and our brand. Mm -hmm. So, and um, find gaps where they're not happy with the experience and then fill those gaps with innovation. Nice. So it's super fun. Excellent. And uh, it really yields a lot of new good ideas. It sounds like a really fun time and a great way to get good information. Absolutely. From your customers. Absolutely. So if you boiled that down, if there was one tip that you said was kind of the most important thing about customer journey mapping, what would it be? So my tip would be that you really want to define who is that target audience that you are trying to design for. So define a persona and talk to them, get some real information. Because what you don't want to do is fill out a you know customer journey map based on hypothesis. You really want to make sure that it's a real you know persona, a real person, a group that you're designing for and you have real information.